A pleasant day to everyone. So this week's learning session will be about the different food and beverage service equipment. So basically these are the utensils and the tools that you're going to use in the dining table. So we will be enumerating them one by one and these are the following learning outcomes for this discussion. So first and foremost, before you use the different utensils in uh, the dining area, you have to clean and polish them first. Right after the dishes come out from the dishwasher, you have to at least air dry them and you have to polish them with a clean cloth and make sure not to touch them with your fingers because they are already considered clean which is why it's important that you make use of a clean cloth to polish the different utensils first we have the different table appointments all right we also call them the tableware or all the items needed at the table to serve and eat a meal or simply put any item used for serving and eating food and there are several types of tablewares first you have your dinnerware so a dinnerware is composed of the different plates all right you have the plates you have the cups of course you have the saucers and you have your bowl so this serves as uh, the vessel where you put the different dishes and the liquids in the dining table so we call them the dinnerware and then we have the flatware or you can call them silverware if it's made of 92.5 sterling silver all right so you can call them silverware if they are really made of silver but if they're not made of silver you just call them a flatware or sometimes we call it cutlery or cutleries so cutleries include the knives of course the fork and the spoons used in the dining table so you call them a flatware or a silverware if they are made of silver and then you have your beverage ware all right so these are basically your glassware or your glasses and it is further classified into three so, namely you have your tumbler so this one is a tumbler the second type is a stemware because you have the stem wherein it is between the base and the mug and then of course you have the mug which has a handle okay when you're going to hold it and drink the beverage so that is the three types of glassware a tumbler a stemware and a mug so glasswares are again further specified into uh, different types so so you have the wine glasses which are used to serve wines on the right side this one is a red wine glass used to serve red wine and this one is a white wine glass which is used to serve white wine so can you please describe the difference between the two glasswares so what do you think is the difference between a red wine glass and a white wine glass all right so let me know uh, the difference and put it in the comment section next you have the brandy glass this is used to serve brandy 
all right so we have uh, a brandy glass is also part of the stemware because it has a stem next you have the margarita glass a margarita glass is used for beverages such as margarita or any cocktail that uses tequila as the base liquor all right so if you're going to mix a cocktail wherein the base is tequila you're going to use the margarita glass and then you have your pilsner glass a pilsner glass is used to serve pilsen beer or pale beers all right so this one is a pilsner glass next you have your champagne glass or the glasswares used for serving champagne or sparkling wine so uh, these are the two types of a champagne glass you have your champagne flute which is like a flute because of its hollow body and a champagne saucer which is more of a flat type of champagne glass uh, now what is the difference between a champagne flute and a champagne saucer so usually uh, a champagne saucer is used by someone who wants to have their champagnes in a, s a few gulps so this means a fast drinker of champagne usually would prefer having a champagne served in a champagne saucer wherein on the other hand a champagne flute is for a person who likes to have a, a champagne and also have a conversation with their friends let's say you're going to take a few sip and then after taking a few sip you're going to talk with your friends in a social event and that basically says that a champagne flute is for those people who want to have the champagne uh, and ha wants to enjoy them for a, a little bit longer than a fast drinker that uses a champagne saucer so that is the difference between the two next you have the martini glass a martini glass is very uh, uh, popular because of uh, the James Bond movie because James Bond usually loves martini cocktails so martini glass is used to serve martini cocktails or any liquor that uses gin as the base all right so that is the martini glass next you have your rock glass or the old fashioned glass so this is where you serve neat drinks all right neat drinks meaning you serve it pure without any mix all right let's say a scotch you just pour the scotch inside and that is a neat drink or a rock glass is also used to serve uh, beverages on the rocks when you say on the rocks you put ice inside and then you pour in the beverage so that is on the rocks let's say you have scotch on the rocks you have uh, whiskey on the rocks so that basically means with ice right and then you have your shot glass probably you are already familiar with this when you go to different bars and they offer shot drinks or uh, sometimes they also layer cocktails using a shot glass so this is usually uh, when you want to have your drinks in one gulp right and then after the glasswares you have your hollow wear so these are your bowls right your terrains which are used to serve food or to hold large quantity of food as well as your pitchers your pots right your teapot your coffee pot which is used to serve liquids so they uh, they are called hollow wear next you have the table linen so the table linen is composed of your table coverings and your table napkin all right so this adds a little bit of aesthetic and also it adds up to the hygienic 
uh, and sanitary aspect of serving the dishes because you can always uh, make sure that the restaurant is clean when they use clean table linens as well and then you have your centerpieces so a centerpiece enhances the look of the dining table so centerpieces can come in different uh, uh, in different types and also it must suit the different uh, theme of uh, let's say the the restaurant or the theme of the event so you can use either flowers or any decorative piece to add uh, an appeal okay let's say this one seems like it's an autumn inspired centerpiece Alright, so centerpieces can range from so many different types of decorative pieces. You can use candles, flowers, and sometimes you can use plants as well. So it's, it's all going to depend on the theme of the dinner or the event. And then you have the place setting or the cover. So a place setting is the table space that holds all the tableware needed by one person. So this basically uh, describes the area where all the utensils are going to be placed. All right. So this is the area where all the utensils that you're going to use is going to be placed. So we call it a place setting or a cover. So in a fine dining, usually you just have two persons in one table. So you have uh, more space to put the different tablewares or utensils. But in an event or let's say in a wedding or in a banquet usually you have lesser space to put the different tablewares and utensils so you have to take note really how many dishes are you going to serve so that you would know how much space do you need to place all the tablewares and utensils all right and then you put them like this the, so this now is what we call the table setting so in a banquet such as this one you have like how many persons sitting in one table let's say this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so in a standard table you have ten guests in one table so if this is uh, the setup you can see that you have a limited place setting or cover from which you can put all the utensils so you really have to take note of the menu so if you have let's say if you have 10 dishes that you're going to serve sorry if you have 10 dishes that you're going to serve in that banquet so i don't know and i think it's impossible for you to place five pairs of utensils okay on the right side and on the left side so knowing what the menu is is really important for you to decide how much space are you going to need in your table setting 